classroom may not be your only or your official grade book, but it's a really powerful tool to provide students with immediate feedback about their grade and performance on tasks. To help organize this information, just like in other grade books, you can now organize your information into grading periods. To do so, just click on the settings icon. That little gear is universal for settings throughout Google Workspace. This is gonna open up my settings for this course. I'm gonna scroll down to grading. At the very top of my grading category, I can add a grading period. I could name this grading period. This could be my first quarter. And then I can add a start and end date. I could also create other grading periods, maybe not for quarters, but maybe for a specific unit or for a specific essay. If I already have set out assignments that fall under this category, under this grading period, I can choose to apply it to existing assignments. Assignments that fall within this due date will be connected to this grading period. If you have multiple sections of the same course, you can click select classes and apply it to any other course that you would like. Once you've completed all your settings, make sure to click save. You can preload grading periods or when you create your assignment, click on set grading period. It'll take you right back to the grading settings. From here, you can now add a grading period. The grading period itself is based on the due date set within your assignment. If you don't set a due date, it will be set based on the date that the assignment was released or shared. One of the biggest payoffs is now when you click on grades, you can filter assignments based on the grading period. So if I want to look at assignments from just this unit, I can see just those assignments, just those scores. If I want to see grades from this other unit, this other grading period, I can filter out based just on that task, based on just that unit or that quarter of your semester.